So lately I've been getting the questions, does stuttering make you forget? Now, lately in the news, we've been hearing a lot more about stuttering. It's become a big topic, not just in the United States, but around the world, because we're watching President Joe Biden struggle with speech and cognitive things. And the question of does it make you forget is being wrapped into this and partially linked to stuttering. And part of it's being linked to whatever is going on cognitively with the president. I'm not going to talk about the cognitive side because I've got colleagues, I've got fans, I've got family members asking me to better understand what stuttering is because I live with a lifelong stutter. I've been a stutter advocate all my life and I have learned a lot about what impacts me and others when it comes to a stutter. Growing up when I stuttered as a child, it impacted me, it devastated me. I couldn't read out loud in the classroom and I would freak out. I would start crying and run out of the room to avoid the stutter because of the humiliation that came from my classmates and because people thought I was dumb. People thought that I couldn't remember, that I didn't know what I was going to say or how I was going to say it, and that is far from the truth. Stuttering has never impacted my ability to remember. My mother has a lifelong stutter as, as well. Her stutter is much more prominent. She hits a word and it's and she's going to fight to say the very word that she wants to say. And she's not forgetting anything. She really wants to finish the sentence. And then people will fill in it for her, which frustrates her more, which is very common with stutters. The way I learned to deal with my stutter was I imagine it like you're going down a river. You're enjoying a great day on the river. And you come to a fork in the river and one side is roughy and it's bumpy and it's dangerous. And the other side is that lazy river <laughs> that we all love to go on. I choose to avoid the rough water and I divert in the middle of a sentence, in the middle of a phrase, I will divert to another way that's smoother and safer. Let me say this very clearly. There are words that I want to say at times. And those words that I know because of living with a stutter, I know that word at that moment is going to get stuck. It's like backing the car out of your garage and you're halfway in, you're halfway out, and you can't get any further. And that's what stuttering feels like. You can't get it out. I've learned that I know there are words out there that are going to get me and I divert to another easier phrase. Now, that's where sometimes you'll hear stutters going very strongly, and all of a sudden you can feel, you can hear, you can know. They just changed their phrasing. They went a little bit longer than they needed to go. That's what we're doing. We're taking a long way around by using other words instead of the more direct path to get the information out. Now, when it comes to President Joe Biden, watching what's been going on the last several weeks, I can see where his stutter impacts him. And like many stutters, your stutter will get you a little bit flustered. You have to learn how to not get flustered by your stutter. You have to learn how to own your stutter. Mine, I turn the a smile, a laugh sometimes. I'll even stop when I know I stutter and let the crowd know that I'm okay by going, and I make a gaff out of it. President Biden may not want to do that, but his stutter is impacting his composure because we get nervous. Sometimes our face gets slushed. And if you have several phrases in a row that you're tripping over, it's like a domino effect and you can't stop it. That's what we're seeing sometimes when he's speaking, but he is not forgetting what he's saying. That's a separate issue. So part of why I'm doing this is to inform because I'm getting calls and emails and people are asking what the heck is going on. And there is no cure for stuttering. There is no pill. There's no medicine. You cannot really cure stuttering, but like my own personal stutter, I've learned my own tips and skills to navigate my stutter to enjoy this amazing career as a professional broadcaster and speaker. Everyone's got to learn their own journey and what works for them. I would encourage you, if you know someone that stutters, go sit down with them and ask them some questions about how they navigate your stutter. How do you work it? What are the tricks you've learned with this? And even ask them the question that I'm answering here today. Does stuttering impact your memory? 
let's just spell that. Let's help cut through some of the noise that we're getting with a very important topic because it impacts voters. It impacts the trust of our top leaders. It impacts so many different areas. And stuttering is one of the things we can help people understand to take something off the table and stay with the facts and just the facts. Stuttering. It is a battle. It's a personal battle. It is embarrassing. It is frustrating. But stuttering does not make you forget. If you want to learn more about stuttering and what stuttering is, the impact it has on people, and maybe even how to overcome stuttering, contact me about my keynote presentation, Stutter to Stage. Learn my journey of how this frightened, scared young kid with a bad stutter learned to overcome and understand how stuttering impacts me and just maybe how it can impact you. I'd love to come and share more to help you understand what stuttering is, what it is not, and dispel the myths about stuttering so you can help you be free.